Hey you guys, it's Brandy with Eternal Harvest Decor and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute boho style dining room table. It's beginner friendly and I think you can figure out how to do it with these tips and tricks. So come with me, let me show you how. So I know it's not fun when you have the talking head that talks about the project before you actually get to the project, but bear with me. There's some information I want to give you guys about this dining table and why it came to be. I have started a new initiative called the Brightness Builds, and if you're following me on Instagram, you've heard me talk a lot about this process. But the idea behind it is that we pick a family who's been through a lot recently, and we go in and transform a space for them. And by we, I mean me and a couple other DIYers. And we have found someone for 2021 in July that we will be going in and transforming two spaces. We're gonna be, my dog is so sad right now, he wants to go play. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a dining room and a bedroom for this cute family. And I have a little video right here that introduces this family and why we've chosen them, Kaya and Maleki. And for their home, she had sent me some pictures that just brought her joy. And her style was very boho-esque. So I designed this table to go into their space and we'll be doing a video about the whole transformation process. And this table will be going in the dining room. It's a very simple build, but it's being built with hardwoods and I think it will fit their style just perfectly. So if you're interested in the whole transformation process, make sure you subscribe, like this video, you'll get notifications if you hit the little notification bell and the entire renovation process will be coming to a video for you guys, on video for you guys, super soon. And I am like so nervous and also so excited. So let's get to the building of this dining room table. I started with some 2x4s that I had purchased at the local hardware store. I made sure they were nice and dry and straight, and then I ran them through the planer after cutting them down to size for the build of the base. I feel like the boho style is very minimalistic, so I wanted this to be a very simple base and not too exuberant, not take up too much space, and that was the whole idea behind it. Now I'm gonna adjust my miter saw to 10 degrees and this is gonna help me create that trapezoid look for the legs. So a table is normally 31 inches tall and when I start cutting legs, I like to give myself a couple extra inches. So I'm marking this at 32 inches and I'm gonna go ahead and give it the first 10 degree cut. Once I have that angle right, I'll flip it over and this is where I'll get my actual leg cut, which is 28 and a half inches long. I'll finish up that 10 degree cut and both these 10 degree cuts are parallel. Then I place that on my next board and I make the marks accordingly and now everything will be based off this very first leg, if that makes sense. All the measurements will be based off of that. I'll repeat this process four times to get four legs and then I can move on to the cross pieces. Now all of these measurements are totally customizable depending on the size of table that you would like to build. I want this one to be 36 inches wide, so my cross pieces will be cut with the same 10 degree angle and the angles are not parallel. That's what enables this triangular shape. So it'll still be 10 degrees and the cross pieces are 31 and a half inches and I'll try and put all of the measurements and plans in the description below or on my website but it's basically just 31 and a half inches wide at a 10 degree miter cut, not parallel. And next we just need to cut the top cap pieces. And because I want the table to be 36 inches wide, I usually bring the top piece in two inches on each side. So this will just be a straight 34 inches. And now it's time to assemble the legs. I'm gonna start by laying them out in the way that they will be assembled. And then I'm gonna add pocket holes to the cross pieces on the bottom side where they won't be seen from the top. Next I'm gonna mark exactly where I would like the leg to meet up with the cross piece. In this case, I did two inches, and I'm gonna mark this on both the inside parts of both legs. That way I know that the cross piece is level and accurate. And then I'm gonna assemble these with two inch screws from Craig Jig, their pocket hole screws, and a little bit of glue. 
If you've never used a crate jig before, you can check out this video that I made about how to create a joint with the crate jig. Next, I'm gonna attach the top. And to do this, I mark exactly where the top is gonna go so that I can make sure it's even on both sides. And then I add the glue and I actually use my brad nailer to nail it into place before I screw it down, just to ensure that there's no um, shifting as I'm screwing the screws in. And there you have the first leg. So do this twice and you'll have two legs and it's time to assemble the apron of the table. So the first thing I like to do is hold these legs next to each other and mark center on both of them. Then using pocket hole screws, I'm going to attach both aprons to one leg on the outside pieces of the trapezoid shape and then the middle cross piece as well. And that's what those lines helped with. And then I stand it up and connect it to the other leg and make sure to use glue. It really helps with solidifying and strengthening the piece. And this is the entire base. It's super simple to build. Next, I'm gonna start laying out my top pieces. This is all made from ash. The bottom is made from Doug fir, just from the hardware store, but the top is hardwood. And I got it from my local Macbeths. Now, if you've never put together a tabletop, I do have an entire video on the process and how to do it. You can check that video out here. But what I'm doing is marking where I'm gonna be putting my biscuits. I use biscuit joinery when I'm assembling a top if the top isn't completely flat or if there's a slight bow in the pieces. The biscuits help to align, but they do not help with strength. So if I need help with alignment, I will mark those spots and then add biscuit holes. And then as I do my glue up, I will insert the biscuits at that time and then clamp the top together. I go into this entire process in a lot more depth in the video that I made about tabletops and how I assemble my tabletops. So to glue up this tabletop, I'm using Gorilla Glue. I really like this stuff and I've been using it a lot lately. You will not see me spreading the glue with my finger. What I like to do, and you can't see it in high speed, but what I like to do is add the glue to the side and as I attach it to the board next to it, I slide the two pieces just slightly together, which then spreads the glue. Once the glue is spread and attached and all pieces are touching, I add the clamps. And you wanna tighten your clamps down so much that you start to see some glue beading in the seams. That's when you know you've got it right, just like this. That means my glue is spread appropriately and then you give it a day to cure. Once it's cured, I take off all the clamps and now it's time to get working on the finishing. I start with a hand plane just to get any high edges or pieces that might not have been nice and straight as the glue up process went through. Next it's time for the sanding process and I start with a 60 grit paper and work all the way up to a 400 grit. And if you're new to the table building process or the sanding process, I do have a video where I walk you through the steps of how to sand a tabletop or a piece properly. You can check that out here. That's it, it's all complete and ready to go in their home and I'm so excited to style it. Once we got it in their home, it was time to style it, make it look pretty for them to see and I'm so excited with how it came together. Don't worry, this entire process of how we did this room is coming. It turned out so dreamy, isn't it beautiful? 
And that is how the boho table was created. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. We'll see you next time.